All right, Sunday, NCAA East Regionals, uh, both men and women, separate events, of course. Uh, let's take them separately. Let's start with uh, the men first. What are realistic expectations for the men's team? Well, we definitely want to make sure that we finish in the top three teams and, and get a bit to the NCAA tournament. Um, obviously, be, it being a home meet and uh, as close as the conference finish was, we, we'd love to win it. But, uh, you know, there's three pretty similar teams, and um, you know, hopefully we have a a good day and come out with the championship, but the, the ultimate goal is really to finish in the top three teams and make sure that we live on for, for two more weeks to move on to the NCAA tournament. Historically, we've done well in this event, especially in recent years, and talking with some of your runners earlier today, it's a point of pride with them. Uh, I guess top three keeps you going. I think they have their mind set on, on the single number one spot. Yeah, you know, it, I mean, you think we won it five years in a row and nine of the last ten years or eight of the last ten years, something like that. Um, so it's definitely something that they expect to go in and, and compete for and, and to win. So hopefully we can uh, piece it together and, and everybody finally has a good race in the same day. It's kind of been a mix and match all year, guys not quite being healthy. or We've had our strep throat run through the team and, and different viruses. And not a lot of them are running related, which is unusual. Um, we've been pretty healthy that way, but it's just been little viruses here and there, and finally in the last three, four weeks, we've finally been healthy, and uh, we seem to be getting better by the week, so hopefully we've gotten better in the two weeks since the conference meet. As you say, we've won it a number of years in a row, and eight or nine out of ten years. What's it take to, to win it? Uh, you have to be good on the right day. You know, it's getting ready for you know, the meet and being ready on that day to race well. And, uh, you know, they, we're in the last, you know, two and a half weeks of the season now, and uh, this is the time you want to be running well. Um, the workouts indicate that we're we're better than we were, you know, definitely a month ago, and hopefully we're a little bit better than we were two weeks ago. Is this an event like this? This is about team depth, I would imagine, more than about just having the fastest one or two or three individuals. Yeah, it is. And, you know, our top three guys ran really well two weeks ago, and, um, you know, our fourth and fifth guys ran okay, and, and some other guys that should be in our top five didn't quite run as well. So hopefully, you know, those are the guys that were sick along the way, so hopefully they're a little bit better, and that mixes them up into our top five. And if we can do that, then we'll be in good shape going forward. For the runners, is this race about times, or is it not no longer about times and about competition? Yeah, it's about place. You know, it doesn't matter what they run for a time at this point, whether it's slow or fast, it doesn't really matter. They will just be counting places and trying to, to piece that together that way. And, you know, if we can do that, then, then we'll be okay. Well, let me ask, you know your runners, you know their personality, you know their character. Are they got the type of guys that love to compete? Yeah, they do. You know, in the certain meets that they definitely like to compete at, and this is definitely one of them. Um, you know, a kid like Matt Seo, who a year ago came out of you know, improved 10 places from what he finished in the conference meet at the regional meet. Those things tend to happen to us, you know, every year at this meet. And, um, so hopefully we can we can catch it again and, and, you know, come out where we hoped. What sort of expectations do you guys go into this particular event with? Uh, I feel like we're going to try and go for the win at regionals. Like, we've won it, I think, the last, like, five years in a row. And, um... I mean, even though we came in third at conference, we usually tend to perform better uh, over 10K and towards the end of the season. So hopefully we can come away with the win on Sunday as a team. Is there a certain point of pride that this is, if you will, our championship to win? I think so. Um, definitely with, uh, you know, we've lost the conference meet the past two years in a row um, to Stonehill and... We lose AIC last year as well. Southern, Southern, Southern Connecticut. Connecticut last year as well. So I think coming back, um, being the third team at conference and coming back winning regionals, I think it's our race um, to lose, basically. Um, so we hope that our team can come through this weekend. What's it take to, what's it take, I'm going to ask you, you haven't said anything yet, Chris. What's it take to win this as a team? I mean, I feel like it just takes a really good day for your five guys. We have seven running, and you just really need the, you know, back guys to step up because that's where a lot of the points really matter is those last those last spots where it's really you have to come down and dig, and it comes down to the last 400 meters of the race, really. Now, for much of the year when you guys are racing, it's about times. You're preparing 
building toward a particular point, and now we're getting to that point. But earlier in the year, it's about times, and you're looking to see, are you on schedule to be at your peak at the right time? Is this race at all about times, or is this simply about winning? This is the competition. This is what's the other guy in the other shirt doing, and you want to make sure you cross the line before he does. I feel like um, that's definitely true. Like, you just want to... Gary says, like, times usually don't matter when it comes down to, like, championship races. But, like, personally for me, like, I care about how fast I'm going to run because hopefully it's not my last race of the season. I want, like, a little bit more confidence going into um, nationals. But um, overall, it really just comes down to place and who finishes in front of who. Lowest score. It's all that matters. <laughs> Is it almost easier to run when it's about beating somebody else that you can see rather than worrying about the clock? Is is this competitive situation almost easier? Yeah, I feel like in general it always helps running if you have someone to chase. Even for like workouts, you have someone that's running with you and they like lead. So I feel like especially in championships, when you know that a guy in front of you potentially scores a point you know, less than you, then it really gives you the extra drive to go harder. I realize it's a sport where it's not like other sports where you know, hit and run moves a guy from first to third, or in football somebody's blocking for a running back or giving the quarterback protection. But is there teamwork in this sort of race? Uh, <laughs> teamwork, yeah, I would say, like, I mean, we go into it with Gary gives us a team, um, I don't know, a team, what's the word? Goal? Goal. Goal, Plate. I guess, yeah, to, for what we could, like, finish, but... I think it's a lot of, you know, we get into the certain packs that we're in in the race and we work off of those guys. And I know like our four, five, six, seven guys all usually run somewhere close to each other in the race. So they run with a nice um, like team atmosphere around them, as not so much as us where we have um, other teams around us that we're pretty much uh, in groups with. But um, it's definitely a whole like team atmosphere going into the race, uh, really wanting to win the NCAA regionals. How important, well, let me ask specifically to the seniors, how important personally for you guys is this race because there aren't a lot of races left in your collegiate career? Um, well, I know like me and Eric, we both like really like cross country better than track, and um, we've done it three years so far, this is our fourth year, and we've done well, so I think we just want to go out like on top, like winning regionals again and hopefully performing well. Yeah, cross country is definitely my favorite season. Um, and, you know, it's our last chance to make that national meet with both of us being out last year and not being able to go to that national meet. Um, I think really killed uh, the momentum of what me and Jeff were trying to do in our college careers and uh, so we definitely want to be successful this year and hopefully at nationals we can get um, you know all American. And Chris what's it mean to you personally? Um, I guess just you know wanting to take the next step forward for like my senior year really just take the next step to get closer to being one of the top guys in the other region and you know getting all American and nationals and just for the younger guys, they sort of look and see how we do. And the older guys sort of want to be able to look back and see that we're still running well. So I guess sort of being in between the seniors and the younger kids, it's more of just uh, wanting to make sure that you're going in the right direction as a team. All right. Gentlemen, I thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. For the women's team now, what's a realistic expectation? We're hoping for somewhere in the top five. You know, and that would be, you know, a good performance, um, you know, on the perfect Day, maybe we finish third, um, but we would probably need some help from some other teams not having good days, and we would have to have a, a very, very good day. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, but anything in the top five, if we're fourth or fifth, we'd, we'd probably be just as happy as um, you know anything else that we could do over, the, over this weekend. Women's team, are, are they making, and I will say, my observation has been some inconsistency. Uh, to the performances, but overall, are they making strides? Are they getting better as this year's gone on? Yeah, our last couple of workouts have been the best workouts that we've done this season, so uh, they're there. I mean, Kelsey, our number two girl, freshman, you know, came in with a broken wrist, so, you know, it's been a work in progress with her all season. Colleen Kennedy always gets better as the season goes along, and now she's in our top five, which is just kind of how, how she operates coming through, and, um, 
you know, Megan Mahoney has been getting better, you know, weekly. So it's kind of an interesting mix on the women's side. We have a group of seniors that have kind of been through the wars mixed in with three kids that this is their first first go around. So it's kind of a mixed bag, and we'll kind of see how it how it comes out. How important long term is an event like this for those who are? And you mentioned Kelsey. Uh, those who are your freshmen, how important in their overall development is something like this? Yeah, it, it's really important, and, and it's almost more important that they're successful at some point in the championship meet. Um, Kelsey's already had some success at the conference meet. Matt Cio had some success last year, but we have, you know, Patrick Donovan. This will be his first go around at a, you know, NCAA regionals, and you know, those guys. It's important that they have the confidence that they're going to be there, ready to run well at the at the end of the year. And I think that's one of the things that's helped the men's team all the. You know, all the years that we've done well at this meet is they have the confidence they are ready for this meet every time. And they get that from the upperclassmen and it's passed down from generation to generation. And uh, they all feel like that they come to this meet and are ready to run. So hopefully it's the case again this year. Is it special in that you're a senior? This is the last collegiate season for you. Is, does that make it special? Definitely. Um, it's bittersweet. I. I'm so excited to run it and run with our team, but I'm so sad that this is the end of my team. Like, um, they'll go on, but but it's going to be sad running without them and having them run without me. <laughs> <laughs> we, we run up in Nashville. It's a course that we've run on before we did earlier this year. Is that an advantage, a disadvantage? Does it make maybe no difference, or does it make a difference? <laughs> um, I mean, it helps a little bit. We had a, an okay race there the first time, so it's it's not traumatizing event. and. Um, this is the second time we've only run it, so it's still new, which is good. We have no prior experiences, no bad memories. <laughs> and a certain familiarity with what's next on that course. Yeah, it will be moved around a little bit, I think, but it'll um, include where we work out, so actually I think we'll like it even better. So <laughs> now this race, is this different from other races in that for much of this year it's about times and improving that and getting ready for this part of the year? Does this race become much less about times and more about your, you and your competitors and who finishes where? Completely. Um, it's not about time at all anymore. It's about running with the girls that you know you can run with and then just chasing people down after that and keep moving up. It's all about placement. <laughs> what's your mindset during a race? You mentioned chasing girls down. Um, um, what, what's your mindset? I mean, to some extent, does one, as you go through, of course, See who's ahead of you and say, okay, within a certain period of time, this is the person I want to catch, and then the next one. That's it. Uh, it's basically about going out comfortably with, where you know you can be, and then just looking at the group ahead of you and, and, like I said, chasing them down and trying to run with them and just keep moving up throughout the whole the whole race. Do you like the way you're running at the, this point in the year? Are you happy with where you are as you get ready for Sunday? Yeah, I feel really fit. Um, I think our whole team is pretty fit. Um, We'll see on Sunday. I think we're ready for it, so it's going to be exciting. <laughs> you know, I've got, got, got a question. And cross country is an individual event, but it's team scoring. And maybe I haven't phrased it properly. I guess what I'm asking is, is the real teamwork out there, or is it more a group of individuals? Um, I definitely say team. I mean, we all go out there and run our hardest, but it, we also know that our whole team is running our hardest as well, and we're all pushing, and we have that camaraderie, even though we might not be next to each other, we still, we know we're all working together. <laughs> For you, yeah, this, this could be your last race, I guess. Part of what Sunday is about for you is to make sure it's not. That's that's the goal. Run it like it's my last and hope that it's not. So. All right, yeah. Kelly, thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. And finally, for a coach, you've got some seniors, Jeff Vega, Eric uh, McDonald, uh, you mentioned Kelly Walton. How, just from a personal standpoint, watching these athletes that have worked with you for a number of years, how important to you is it that they just make good showings? Yeah, you know, that that's important. I mean, Jeff, you know, Jeff and Eric in particular, you know, got hurt last year, which was supposed to be their last year, and, and, and hung on for another whole year to, to have this opportunity. You know, to, to see them run well would, would be great. And Kelly's got just gotten so much better over the course of her career. You know, a kid that never broke 20 minutes in high school to a kid that's, you know, all conference three three years in a row and, you know, all regional last year to a kid that literally, I think we were the only team that recruited her coming out. So, um, you know, it, it, it's good, you know. It, those, those three kids have done a lot for the program, so hopefully they can finish it up on, on a 
good note. Okay, Coach, thank you. Good luck. Thanks.